Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my September favorites and I actually have a lot of new products, well new to me, that I want to share with you guys and so let's just get right into it. Um, I have some makeup products and then some other non-makeup products. But um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to mention is a brush. And this is from It Cosmetics. It is their big fluffy powder brush. And I'm obsessed with this. I love applying like a setting powder with this or setting my foundation with this. It is so big and fluffy. It just reminds me of like a big fluffy bunny. <laughs> And it's so soft and it's huge like you can see like obviously it's like quarter of the size of my face you know and the thing I love most about it is that it does not shed I actually have um, the Sigma brush kit and their powder brush sheds like crazy and I would not recommend that um, I hate using it because I'll notice like later on in the day like stupid little like black hairs like on my face and yeah, nobody wants that so I would totally recommend this one it is so soft and fluffy and does everything I want it to do uh, the next product is a lipstick and I used this in my most recent tutorial my daytime fall smoky eye so if you haven't seen that um, I'll link it below but this is the lip color I wore in it and I will swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys but this is what the color looks like it's a really nice um, neutral nude color one of those my lip but better so shade. there it is right there it's kind of more of like a brownie nude so, so if you're afraid of like nudes that are gonna like wash you out and make you look dead that's not gonna do it um, it's only like I think like three dollars you can get it at any drugstore the only thing is is that it is very very matte and if you like matte lips you'll love it but I find that I need to apply a gloss over it so that brings me to my next product which is the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Le Gloss, how fancy, in the color 151 Baby Blossom. And so it just looks like that, and this is one of those kind of like NARS Turkish Delight dupes, but I find that I like this way better. I like all like the dupes better than actual NARS Turkish Delight. I just, I'm not a huge fan of that. I feel like it's really overrated, and the texture and the smell of it is just like not good. So um, I'll swatch this next to it. Baby pink color. It's really nice over like any lipstick. Any lipstick that you want to just lighten up a little bit or make it a little more milky or creamy, this will do it. It does it perfectly and I absolutely love it. So um, keeping with the nude trend, um, next is a nail polish and I feel like this is the perfect nude nail polish especially if you have like a medium to tan skin tone. This one is Wet n Wild Mega Last in Private Viewing. So it just looks like that really pretty nude color. I actually Instagrammed a picture of this with another favorite nail polish of mine which I'll talk about in a second. So if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you do so. But uh, I absolutely love this. It's very opaque. You only need like one or two coats. You don't have to put like five coats to get the color that you see in the bottle which is really nice. I hate nail polishes that you need to put like five coats and then it gives you even more of an opportunity to smudge them. So love that. And another nail polish that I'm loving that I don't have with me right now but I have it on um, my nails. Um, it is Sally Hansen's Strobe Light, and it's just like the perfect glitter polish with so many different nail colors, and I just, I just love it. I'm obsessed, and I don't know if I lost it or I'm thinking it might be at my boyfriend's sister's house. I love that as well, and I wish that I had the bottle to show you guys. So, love those two nail polishes. Next are two mascaras. The first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition. So it's the one in the gold tube, and I've tried a few of the other voluminous ones, the original and the carbon black and um, the curved brush ones, and I've liked those, but I felt like they were a little bit too goopy and clumpy. So full definition, obviously, I was like, oh, that sounds amazing, and Makeup by Tiffany D raved about this. She loves it, and another girl here on YouTube that I watch, I think her name is Lex Purdue, or I'll put her link below as well. Um, she raved about it too, so I went and picked it up, and I really love it. Um, the brush is very traditional and basic, but I love it. I feel like that just means the formula is amazing, and it's just, it's really nice. It gives you nice full lashes, but 
doesn't make them clumpy so I really love this and I think I got it for like six dollars at Target so not bad the next one is a more expensive one it's a uh, from it cosmetics I have been really loving their products lately is the hello lashes five in one mascara and the wand on this is completely opposite of the L'Oreal one it's not traditional at all it's one of those rubber bristle brushes and it's very kind of like spiky and it has a ball at the end and it really does um, make your lashes full and long I'm wearing it right now so that's what they look like but I really like this and I love what I think I love the most about it is the tip you can really get into those fine little hairs on the inner corners and it's also really great for doing your bottom lashes um, it's just really easy you just turn it vertically and you know just swipe back and forth and it's really really easy and I actually sent one of these to Carly in our swap so check out that video if you haven't already so love those two they're very different but I love them both and you know I kind of rotate mascaras and I just am one of those girls who like loves to try new mascara so um, I only have one more makeup product but this is the Revlon Precision Dark Lash Adhesive and I used and loved the original the clear one um, for a while it lasted me a really long time and it is really easy to apply it's the same concept except for it's black and you know if you like to do wing liner or you just like a really black look then this is really nice but it's so easy to do you don't have to worry about squirting out too much glue because you just apply it like you would apply like a liquid liner but just onto the lash band and it's amazing it holds really well next are two well actually the next and the last few things are all scents so um, I know that you can't smell them through the computer but I want to talk about them anyway so the first one is a Victoria's Secret fragrance mist in sheer love forbidden and I was told by the woman at Victoria's Secret that these are like limited edition fall scents and I love this one this one's probably my favorite it's fruity and florally at the same time I just uh, it just smells so good and um, so the scent notes that are in this are dark violet or dark violet and pink currant or currant. I don't know. I don't even know what a currant is, but um, and also is infused with conditioning aloe vera. So you know you could spray this on your body and it's gonna you know kind of give like a moisturizing effect. But it smells so yummy. I love that. And then the other one, coincidentally, it's also pink. Um, this one is just from their regular collection. It's not like limited edition or anything. Um, and this one is Secret Craving. And the notes in this one are Black Currant or Currant and Vanilla Absolute. So um, if you like vanilla kind of scents, this one is a little bit more musky rather than fruity or florally. florally. So yeah, you can definitely smell the vanilla in this one. It's really nice. But I love these. I love all Victoria's Secret scents. And if you buy one just by itself, I think it's like $14. But then if you buy three, I think it's like $20. So you might as well just buy a few. I bought a lotion. as like my third one, but I don't really know where it is right now. And I haven't even tried it yet. So um, love these. They're fragrance mists from Victoria's Secret. They last a really long time. They last just as well as a perfume, in my opinion. And, you know, I like to keep one in my car, my purse, my closet, everywhere. I just love them. And the last two things are, I'm sure everyone and their mother is going to have these in their September favorites, but I'm going to talk about them anyway. Um, they are these three wick candles from, I always want to say Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works. And the scents that I have are Mahogany Teakwood and Cider Lane. So I love these. They, I got them during the 2 for 20 sale, which I believe is over now. But this is the one, like mahogany teakwood. Like what the heck is a teakwood? But I don't know. If you know what a teakwood is, just let me know. But this one is the one that smells like the Abercrombie & Fitch store. And I think it really does smell like that. Maybe not exactly, but you know, that's what it's going to remind you of. So it's really nice. It smells kind of like a men's cologne. So um, if you live with your boyfriend or your boyfriend's like coming over, he's not going to think that this is like too fruity or anything like that. But then again, it might smell like there was like another dude at your house now that I think of it. 
But my boyfriend likes this one. He likes both of these. But um, I love this. It smells yummy. And then this one is um, my favorite fall scent at the moment. Um, I picked up another one, but this one is more fall-ish, I guess. Um, this is Cider Lane, and I love apple cider. I feel like I want to go get some apple cider like after this video and just go drink it. I just feel like it's... It's, I feel like apple cider is like so much better than apple juice. Like they, I don't know what they do to it, but it's just amazing. And um, so this is Cider Lane, and I like this a lot better than the other one. I think it was like Spice Cider, which I like, but it smells more like spices than apple cider to me. So this one smells like more like apple cider and apples and kind of like a caramel apple, if you will. But this one is amazing, and... It just reminds me of fall so much. Like, this one smells really good, but it doesn't remind me of fall. It's just one of their fall scents, I guess. So, that's everything that I have for my September favorites. Let me know um, what your September favorites are. Leave a comment or um, a video response if you want. And that's pretty much it. I also want to say, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I... Um, I think I mentioned it in a past video. I've been experimenting with new lighting, so let me think. Let me know what you think about the lighting. And then also, I just got a new camera. Um, I sold my old one, and I decided to, you know, kind of upgrade a little bit. So I got the Sony Next F3. And let me know what you guys think if you like the quality. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.